Hey everybody, Troy here, and today you might feel like it's your birthday. Well, why you ask? Because of all the gifts. That was bad. Today I'm gonna show you how to make quality gifts for free and extremely fast. You can pretty much say I have this thing gift wrapped for you. Just intro. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, if you're utilizing GIFs on Twitter, Imgur, Dribbble, anywhere else except for Instagram, be mindful of the size limits and the dimension limits. What I'm going to show you is how to create a GIF quickly, effectively, just streamline the whole process for free. Maybe in another video we'll go through dimensions of social media, who cares. But right now, we're going to get into how to make a GIF super fast. What you need to do is you need to download an app called GIFSKI. The link will be down in the description. All you need to do is find some sort of video that you want to convert into a GIF. You don't need Photoshop, you don't need After Effects, Premiere, anything like that. You just need to somehow get yourself a video and drag and drop and you're done. So right now I have this clip of Shazam from the trailer where he's jumping up and flight test number one fell. Pretty funny trailer. Anywho, I have this video and I want to turn it into a GIF. I already turned this into a GIF with ScreenFlow and with Photoshop already so we can get some comparisons. With ScreenFlow, yes, you can create GIFs. It's a quick, easy thing to you, you can do. That software does cost money. It's what everyone uses to actually record their desktops. This is what it looks like on ScreenFlow. Not bad. But you can see when he lands, his suit just gets really nasty red, pixelated. It's just, it's not a good day. In Photoshop, real quick, it's much better. The dithering's really well. The pattern and algorithms we use for pattern, it's, it, we'll get into that in another video. But it's really well, well done, right? You can't really tell the difference between the video and that GIF at a quick glance. All you do is you click on the MP4, drag, and you have some options. I'm going to move the frame rate all the way up to 30 and I'm going to scale it all the way to the regular dimensions of 828 at 520, which sounds odd, but that's just the dimensions of the video. And I'm going to save this as GIF ski so I can compare them and convert it. Depending on the length of the video will determine the length of how long this is going to load. I hate, hate the touch bar. All right, and we're done. Now we have our three GIFs. Let's just go ahead and quickly compare them. And I'm just gonna open them up in Google Chrome. Okay, right now we're looking at ScreenFlow. As you can see, it gets the job done. You can use this. When he lands, it doesn't look the greatest. But however, you can use this. Next is Photoshop. Not bad. There's not a lot of pixelization going on in those clouds. But let's go ahead and compare Photoshop to the free GIFSKI. Not bad, not bad at all, I'll say. There's not a lot of pixels, not a lot of pixelization going on. Dithering's nice, nice and smooth. Pretty good. And that's it. You can see how quick it is to make a GIF and one that's actually pretty, pretty good quality. Go ahead and play with the settings, figure out what dimensions you need for whatever you're gonna post and just create some GIFs. And with free software, that's pretty much the GIF that keeps on GIFing. Oh, so bad. Anywho, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Click like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.